It started off as a joke, really. We sang about it in class. COVID-19 was nothing but a meme to us. Really and truly nothing but a meme to us, I swear. And then the rumors began. Whispers about being sent home and classes going online. There wasn't really any credit to them though. No one really believed them. Then one day, we all went to classes and teachers began giving the talk. The college wants us to start making plans, they said, in case we have to go online. As we discussed last class, things are going to be different after spring break. But the semester will go on, and I, like all of your other instructors, will keep teaching. We just ask that you keep being the great students that you are. Since everybody said they wanted to keep meeting as a class, we'll do that. All you need to do is pay attention to my announcements on Blackboard, and I'll give you directions for meeting virtually. So we'll meet after spring break every Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 12.20, just like our class time is now. I was in the auditorium when it happened. My group on Snapchat, my roommates and mine, was blowing up. We were going home. It was official. I remember spending the rest of the day crying with my friends just breaking down. I remember continuing to cry the rest of the night when I got back to my dorm room. It looked like I wasn't going to be able to finish college. I was so mad. School was going beautiful until COVID-19 came and ruined everything. First it started as a joke. I came into school thinking it was not that serious. Hi class. You may have heard that spring break has been extended by one week. It's true. I'll be in touch on Monday or Tuesday after the break with lots of options so that you can finish your semester successfully. Spring break is extended? I need my things. I lived on campus and a good half of my clothes, pillows, blankets, all of my schoolwork and books were there. After a month or so, I really missed my clothes. Spring break came and I got fired from my work because they said I had COVID, but I didn't. Pay attention to the invitation for our class meetings, Tuesday and Thursday, 11 to 12 20. We're now using WebEx, a video sharing platform. I'm sure you'll be able to navigate it since I have been. I've seen the news videos from people right from all states. At one point, I saw a video of a man collapsing because he had COVID 19. And that terrified me. What really made me scared was when I heard the virus made us move to Rochester. Live office hours today, class. We can do this. Lately, I've been out of energy, but I don't feel like giving up. There was a lot of false involvements and activity going on. And my friend went to class for three days and never came back and said it was a fraud. Try it. You'll like it. That line is from an old TV commercial for Life Cereal. Everybody knew it at the time. In this case, however, I'm talking about WebEx, the video platform we're using to meet as a class for the rest of the semester. The whole world was thrown into chaos and the first thing to go was the toilet paper. Everyone shut themselves inside their houses, except for people who needed groceries, people who thought that the virus was made up as some sort of government conspiracy, and those of us who had jobs that were deemed essential. Myself? Well, I was working at a gas station, because when I thought about the apocalypse, I always imagined being at work. I guess some people still need their coffee and donuts, even while people are dying around them. I've spoken to a couple of you this morning, which was great. Remember, class starts at 11. If it gets to be 11.15 and you can't connect, just email or call me and we'll get it straightened out. Thanks. Online classes don't agree with me. I'm neurodivergent, enough mental issues to choke a horse, and severe ADHD. I can't sit still, I, I, I can't pay attention. I struggle with reading on a good day. So how the hell am I supposed to do online classes? We're all going through such a difficult time, I understand. But completing this course will help you deal with what's on the horizon, your future. With COVID-19, I hope the best for people because I personally see what it does to people in the side. I'm in my live office hours now. We can talk about the class or about anything else that's on your mind. Everything at home is toxic. 
How am I supposed to focus on learning with all of the yelling, with the insults? What's the point in asking for help if there's nothing anyone can really do? We're all living in these times. I'll show up. That's all I can do, sitting on the couch that masquerades at night as my bed. I miss my dorm room and the collection of things I had gathered that I was able to call mine. They said we could go back. Where are my things? Where is my life? Hi class, I've streamlined the requirements for you to earn a passing grade. By doing this, you'll get credit for the class, allowing you to move forward with your educational goals. If you receive a C minus or higher, you can take that grade or choose a satisfactory grade. I ended up having to withdraw from three classes and I had to fight for my federal aid back. It's not too late for you to pass this class and move forward with your academic goals. But here we are. With luck, you'll see me returning in the fall. And until then, you can find me selling coffee and candy to people who won't wear a mask, even with hundreds dying around them, to cops who have the gall to smile at me when they walk in, and to people who support one of those things, but it's not the right one. Overall, I really hope people take this serious. I'm really worried about my family. I'm not too concerned with school, which is not good in any way. I'm looking forward to this virus being destroyed and everyone going back to their normal lives. I care and I'm here for you.